Two people in yesterday's crash have now been identified. Now things are gone. You are listening to What's What Jamaica News, where we bring you the latest. Stay tuned. And now for the news. This is an update about the accident on Sunday in St. Anne, Sunday's mass casualty crash along the Landover Main Road in St. Anne has highlighted Jamaica's public emergency traffic crisis. The tragic deaths of 38-year-old Kermit Grant of Mackenzie District in Aboker and 56-year-old Elizabeth Palmer of Mount Pleasant, both from St. Anne, and the hospitalization of 25 others were a morbid exclamation mark of another weekend of carnage in which five fatalities were recorded. A passerby describes the death scene as a macabre canvas of blood, bones, and bodies. First I saw a lot of blood. The girl that died, she was broken up from head to toe. Her neck was broken, her hand, her foot, her waist, everything was broken. She was frothing up on her blood, says the Salem residents. It's really sad. It is happening so often. There are so many drivers on the road that are reckless, that are not paying any attention, that are driving too fast. They are over uh, taking vehicles around corners, three sometimes three people overtaking vehicle at the same time the recklessness you know the things that are being highlighted most are the crimes but this needs to be highlighted also with all the accidents that are happening and when accidents happen dead occur because the emergency service the country cannot provide like so many people 25 people are hospitalized and i know that it that's all too overwhelming for a small hospital in saint anne to deal with it and this is why when accidents happen people lose lives some hospital only have one ambulance and then people have to take take people up in their cars take them to the hospital. I mean, the injured, if somebody's injured, they're not supposed to be moved by unprofessionals, but this is what the country provide. And this is why people need to take precaution. Every weekend, there is, or every week, there is a tragic accident in Jamaica. And something needs to be done too about the road and how people observe caution on the roads.